Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do an unboxing video. I did receive this toaster mm -hmm. from the company Agostar and they asked me to review and check out their toaster exclusively for you. All right, so I got this the other day. And let me just get a knife here so we can open the box and check it out. And the company did reach out and say, hey, Joe, you know, we like your YouTube channel. Uh, why don't you check out our toaster? So guess what? We're checking it out today. And let's see what this bad boy looks like. Now I'm going to just open this up. I could have done this a lot better. There we go. See? All right. And here it is. In all of its glory. The Ego Star toaster. And check this out, guys. There it is. And let me take this off and look how wide these slots are and you can definitely get a bagel or a muffin in here and uh, it's a really pretty cream color check it out and on the bottom here they have a a fixture where you can put the cord tuck the cord away so it's not really laying around on the counter, which is really, really nice. Now, let's take a look at the front here, guys. Um, basically, it's multifunction. They have a cancel, and basically what that does is when you are toasting something and you want it to pop out, you're ready, you're done, you just hit that button and it pops out. And now we have the bagel and muffin setting. And if you're toasting a bagel or a muffin, you use this. This is your reheat function, and it allows you to reheat something that was in the refrigerator. You want to freshen it up a little bit. You hit that button, and then we have a defrost. And the defrost button is if you do put your bread in the freezer, um, like we do here, and you want to have a piece of toast, what you would do is you would use the defrost function, and that would bring the bread back to life for you. And we also have this really nice settings button, which allows you to set the amount of toast that you want and how toasted it is. So the instructions say what you want to do is when you first open this thing up, is you want to plug it in and it says what you want to do is you want to turn this all the way up to six which it is and you want to let this thing run and one of the things that I'd like to point out here is that it has a crumb tray down here and uh, everybody knows that when you're toasting there's a lot of toasted crumbs that get into the bottom of the toaster this nice feature allows you to clean out your toaster and not to leave anything lingering that may um, get moldy or stale. So that's a pretty nice feature. So you also get um, the instruction manual. And what you'll want to do is you'll definitely want to read this over to basically understand how to operate it. And so this is going... And today, what I want to do is I got some bagels in here, and we're going to try this out with some bagels. But first, what I want to do is once this releases, I want to toast some bread, and I want to show you the different settings, like what, like we're going to set it to a one, two, three, all the way up to six, and you're going to see how it definitely changes the toast. 
what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of a demo now to show you guys basically what the different settings mean in terms of the toast that you're going to get. Let's get toasted. Setting number one. And there is number two. And check it out. That is number three. Here is setting number four. Check that out, guys. And here is number five. And that is basically toast. <laughs> All right. And here it is. And that is what you call toast. And there you have it. One. Two, I think I'm going to fall right here. This is where I like my toast. Then you got four, five, and six. And we're going to check out how it does bagels. So I got it set for three, level three. And there we go. All right, so we are ready. And let me check that out. There it is. It's definitely toasted. Nothing like a warm bagel. And it is hot to the touch, everybody. Ooh. That definitely gets really hot. Listen to that crunch. All right. And I'm going to put mine in. And you know what? I'm going to go a little higher. And we're going to see what that does. And there you go, sweetie. Yes, honey. Here you go. Mm. Nicely toasted. I like that same for me because it's crunchy on the outside. The inside has a little bit of a crunch to it, but it's not like really hard, which I really like. I don't like it when it's really hard. Toasted hard on the inside. All right. You did a great job. All right. And check that out. That is nicely toasted. Underside. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my cream cheese and I'm just gonna place it on top here. You can see really how nice and nice and toasted this is. And sometimes I use the back of a spoon to do my spreading. It's really, really easy. And it does a really good job. And it goes perfectly with my scoop bagel. That's a little tip from the JKM Crave Kitchen. So I'm gonna add some tomatoes. There is nothing like scallion cream cheese and a tomato sandwich with bacon. Yes, guys, I am going to be adding some bacon. How's that look? All right, I'm going in. Mmm. Now that, my friends, is a toasted bagel. That is perfect. This toaster is absolutely awesome, as you saw here. Great control on the amount of toast that you get on your bagel from levels one through six. I wouldn't recommend six. It's got really, really big slots. So you can add your muffin or bagel, whichever you desire in the morning. And what I really like about this, it is small. It is compact. I don't have to go into my air fryer or put on my oven. Um, you plug this in, you just put it down. And in a couple of minutes, you have a really, really nice warm either piece of toast or muffin or bagel to start your day. And for those of you that don't have time, this is really, really a time saver. 
I really, really like this. So what we're going to do now is we're doing one last demo. I have some hash browns. And I'm going to put the hash browns in here, and we're going to see how it does. I think this is going to be perfect, actually. All right, so here we're going to use the defrost function. And I just want to see where it is. And there we go. I just really, really love how it lights up. And it tells you what function is active. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so we did the defrost. And they are indeed defrosted. So we're going to go ahead and restart this. And we're going to do it at its highest level. We'll be right back. All right. Hash browns are done. And check those out. They are indeed crunchy. Now, I have to really be honest with you guys. It does say that you should not put anything else other than bread. However, I thought these would be really, really good to put in the toaster, actually. And as you can see, they came out really, really crispy, just the way I like them, without any kind of grease added or butter. They are all set. And um, let me just take a bite here. It is hot still. Mmm. That is really, really good. I like them in the toaster, actually. All right, guys. So that was my product review. This little toaster is absolutely very handy. And I can see myself definitely eating more toast in the morning. Um, it's easy. It's quick. It's fully functional. I like the control that you have. And definitely check this out. I will leave the link below in the description to the store. And you could purchase this for yourself, actually, and your family. Or give it to somebody for the holidays that needs a toaster. All right, guys, from the home kitchen at JKM Crave TV, that is a definite wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the company. They are up and coming. And until next time, so long.